Hello there, um, this is Diogo here. What I'm going to teach you today is how I create my line art. It's a question I've had a lot of people ask, so I thought it was worth doing. Now, the way I get this sort of heavily weighted angular look is by approaching the lining in the same way I paint. I sketch out whatever it is I want to draw with very thick black lines, and then rather than trace over my sketch on another layer, I continuously refine it using the pen and rubber tools. Um, that's it, that is all I use uh, to get this look. Now I'm using Sai, um, but this pretty much applies to every other software out there, Photoshop, Fire Alpaca, or whatever it is you, you might want to use. Um, yeah, these are just some examples of my art, which uses this method, of course. And it's, it's a deceptively simple method, but it takes a bit to it takes a bit of risk because you have to be comfortable with using the same layers and just completely disregarding having a backup sketch. Of course, you can do that if you want to, but I think you'll lose a lot of the fluidity of the original sketch if you do that. Which is why I I opt for this method and it involves a lot less. Um, it means I don't have to think of a different process. Whenever I, you know, I paint, or if I want to do this more cell shady look, it's a lot more of a seamless transition. And I'll do some quick, you know, example before I show you a speed paint of this quick piece, um, just so you get an idea of the overall process of making this sort of aesthetic. Now. Just to show you how I would sketch, I just grab the default pen tool with the settings here in case you, you're using size and you want to use them, replicate them. And then I usually make my size pretty easy big because again I really want there to be like a lot of um, line weight and thickness. And yeah, it's just very simple like this. Make that tad smaller so it can actually fit in the place. That would be helpful. Right, that'll do for now. Um, so yeah, what we have here is just very quick sketch. What you w don't want to do is overdo it with the lines. You don't want to worry about you know defining your line weights too quickly. Um, so if, if there's a lot of gaps in between you know, areas of the face or whatever part of your drawing, that's fine. It's not something we're going to worry about just yet. Downside it just a little bit more. All I want is just a very quick definition of whatever it is I'm drawing. In this case, um, this face. Um, and the next step really is just defining the areas where you want to be heavier with thicker strokes. Notice that I haven't changed the pen size, I keep the pen size pretty consistent the whole way through. Because I find that otherwise that will require me going over the lines I want to more than I need to. And you see it's just a process of, you know, cutting out the bits you don't want, all on the same way. So you don't have to worry about naming extra layers. It's something that I really don't like dealing with, so this process for me is just a godsend. 
and it really gets you that sort of more authentic um, ink look, which is something that is pretty hard to replicate otherwise, I find. You don't really need to, you know, copy the exact, you know, styling of my art, of course. It works for if you want to do something that looks a little bit more traditionally inked. So for example, something like hair. Let me just do a quick example here. very much just use the rubber tool and just go nuts with it. Like add in some like hair strokes to get that sort of hair definition that you might want. And it very much looks like you could have just picked up a brush and ink and just done this traditionally if you do it right. Like I said, very simple, but um, unless you're comfortable doing this, it can be rather challenging because you're going to have to get used to not, you know, relying on backup layers and just refining whatever you need to and rubbing out bits that you might not otherwise be comfortable with. It can be risky, but I find it works for me anyway. I might be spouting total nonsense and this doesn't work and this might not work for everyone but you know you might learn something from this yeah that gets like one across it's fine it works and yeah this goes for oh, let me grab another example Here we've got a fan art piece of Uten, which I've done, and the reason I have it here is to show you, for example, like the hair stuff. While when I do shorter hair, or when I'm stylizing it a little bit more, I normally do it very, in a very sharp and angular way. Where I use, you know, I don't bother with defining too much of the hair, because that would just be effort. And I frankly don't want to be here all day. But in cases where, you know, I do want a little bit more definition, I sort of, I just add areas of black and then just go over them, like rub out the bits. Then it kind of looks like hair strands and give you that sort of definition that you might want if you don't want your hair to just be, you know, flat looking. It depends on what you want out of your art. Again, very simple. But it requires you being willing to, you know, put in that extra time and, you know, taking a little bit of risk. Now, at this point, I will play the speed paint just to show you that whole process. And, um, yeah, at this point, I'll be signing off. So, thank you. And I hope this will, you know, inform you and you know better your artistic career I suppose yeah let's go with that
Numa academia Digo antes jogares Dá um passo atrás E pergunto só o que é que o gajo diria Em dias melhores Quando vias melhores vias Mas eu sinto logo peço Dá um passo atrás E pergunto só o que é que o gajo faria E pergunto só porque é que Se neste mundo vês um leque E respostas numa track Não apostas num sexo O miúdo tem um fat flow E sei quem é que sou E agora eu sei para onde é que vou Mano, eu sou uma dor no peito, um batimento atroz Um temperamento quente e mais veloz Eu sou a sombra que matou a culpa numa luta a sós Pois eu ser a voz, meus avós, nós fomos Mais, somos, mais, toca os tambores Acorda aos teus pais, a vida e as dores Assine os sinais, vida deu flores A quem as plantou mais, assim não sintoma Na zona, vi Lisboa em coma Bro, eu vi América mais, mais longe do que a sombra Da réplica, a força da métrica A veda ganhou os sinais, nós somos Mais, somos, mais nós somos mais, somos mais E ó nós somos mais, somos mais Nós somos mais, somos mais E o pai eu tô cansado e vou lançar Eu sou mal pago e tô passado E vou lançar o som que é que eu sou Eu sou o som do sado em toda mar O flow do mar por onde eu nado Eu sou quem diz ao karma quem eu sou eu pai, eu tô cansado e vou lançar Eu sou mal pago e tô passado E vou lançar um som que é quem eu sou Eu sou o som do sado em toda mar O flow do mar por onde eu nado Eu sou quem diz ao karma quem eu sou Yeah, yeah, não, isto não pode ser poesia Não foi escrito nem revisto numa academia Neste mundo sem o Sam, o que é que ele seria? Sem book, sem pen, mesma terapia Sem truques, nem luzes, nunca mudes ou nunca julgues Porque chegaram os miúdos do boom bap A nota teu pé, recorda o teu velho Acorda o teu velho A nota teu pé, não é tua bota que eu quero 
Aborda o teu ego e agora Porque é que tudo o que fazes e sentes São fases, são meros pormenores Se a partir do momento em que sabes Já sabes quem és, tu morres Eu pai, eu tô cansado e vou lançar Eu sou mal pago e tô passado E vou lançar um som que é que eu sou Eu sou o som do sado em toda marca O flow do mar por onde eu nado Eu sou quem diz ao karma quem eu sou Eu pai, eu tô cansado e vou lançar Eu sou mal pago e tô passado E vou lançar um som que é quem eu sou Eu sou o som do sado em toda marca O flow do mar por onde eu nado Eu sou quem diz ao karma quem eu sou